Hi, and welcome to this tutorial for ITGO, Interval Trainer Go, the premier interval training app for the iPhone and iPod Touch. When you first start the app, you'll see the front screen and you'll be asked if you would like to disable the power save mode. We suggest you select yes to prevent the app from going into this mode, although ITGO will still operate if it does. The first screen that appears is the timer screen. This is the main screen that you'll view when your workout is in progress if you're looking at the display. I'll come back to this in a minute. Let's go on over to the other two screens and set up our session. First, we go to the settings page. Here we'll define our settings for our workout. Start by choosing a workout duration from 10 to 30 minutes. Now let's set the fast interval duration. This determines how long our fast interval will be. Now we need to set the slow to fast ratio to either one to one, two to one, or three to one. So say for example, we set the fast interval to 10 seconds and the ratio to two to one. This means we'll have the slow interval set to 20 seconds and the timer will switch between the 20 second slow interval and the 10 second fast. We can also turn vibration on and off from here. Now we've set our timer settings, let's go on over to the sounds page where we can set up the audio for our session. So click on sounds. From here we set up what prompt we want to signal interval changes. You've got voice which says fast or slow, beeps and custom sounds. We can audition the custom sounds and we'll hear some of the options available. Let's close this and set the prompt back to voice. You can also adjust the volume of the prompts. Okay, here's where things get really interesting and we present a first in interval training on the iPhone and iPod Touch. You've got two playlists, a fast and a slow playlist. You can create separate lists of songs for both or have one playlist, but that defeats the purpose of having this advanced feature. You can create a new playlist, add to an existing playlist, display your current playlist, or use the slow playlist. So let's add some songs. Next, we'll add some songs to the slow playlist. To really demonstrate the dual music playlist feature and to create the most exciting workout experience, let's set the playlist to shuffle mode, which will select a new song each time it comes to an interval change. If it comes back to a song that's already been played, it'll continue from where it left off. Repeat song will play the same two songs on the playlist for the whole session. Repeat playlist will play the songs in the order as they appear in the playlist. It go remembers your last settings so you don't have to do this every time you want to work out if you don't want to. You can just leave it set at your favorite settings. Now that we've chosen our workout settings, we can go over to the timer screen and start our session. We can double click to reset the timer or single tap to pause it. You'll get a prompt that asks you if you want a warm up or cool down phase. Select the duration and set it to one of the four options, zero to three seconds. The timer start counting and the slow music track starts. The two concentric dials around the timer indicate how either the slow or the fast interval is progressing. The blue is the slow phase and the orange is the fast phase. The large gray digits are the session progress indicator in minutes and seconds. The small digits are the interval progress and duration indicator for each separate interval. For example, 510 in blue means the slow interval has done 5 out of the 10 seconds for that interval before it switches to the fast interval. The same would apply for the fast interval if the numbers were orange. So let's restart our timer and continue our session. By the way, these are just really short settings to demonstrate it goes operation. Great, so that completes the tutorial for Interval Trainer Go. ITGO, the premier interval training app for the iPhone and iPod Touch. Download it now from the App Store.